So now you have looked into the feature, you have done your customer research. So now you know about the customer requests, you know about the, their actual requirements. You have done also to a certain degree some kind of user research with a certain kind of customers to understand what the problem is. You have to decide whether you want to implement this or not. Remember, it's product management, we have to be quite critical what are we taking into the backlog because we have a ton of requests all the time coming from different customers and we always had to make sure that we can prioritize with things that are the most important for us, for our users to provide them value, for us as a business to see where we want to go in the future. So now you have decided that you want to see how this feature aligns with our vision and this is what is going to help you being able to prioritize this feature against other features. So now how do you make sure that this feature actually aligns with what you are trying to do? So now you have two options. So the first one is that you know what your goal is, you know what your product is doing and you know basically what the strategy to get there is. So this feels like a good feature to have in your feature set. So you think that this makes sense for you to get it into the product and make sure that we deliver it to our customers. So you go ahead and decide to move towards product execution. So go, you go ahead and start building this feature in the product. Or you have number two, you go ahead and you look into what is your product vision? Hopefully you have defined that in the past and what is your product strategy? So you know where you want to be in the future with your product. Many products have the problem that they have a product vision, they reach it and then they never update it. And then they get lost about what they should be building in the future. It's always important to have that goal for you as a company, as a product. So now you've seen that, hey, this feature actually makes sense. Um, it's something that I would like to take forward. And it's not a feature that only would get us close to our goal as a company or as a product, what we want to offer in the future for our customers. But it's also something that it aligns with some of our key strategies in our products. But you still want to go ahead and make sure that you define properly next who this feature or this feature set is going to apply to. Who is who are the customers that are going to be benefiting from you delivering this new value in your product?